name is Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sacks, and I'm here today to do a review on this Outre Converti Cap Sugar and Spice wig. But before we get into that, there's a few things I'm going to ask you to do. If this is your first time coming to Silky Sacks, I want to say welcome and thank you so much. Here we do wig reviews, we do hair reviews, we do hair tutorials, we give you hair tips, and it's all free every Monday and Friday. So if you like that kind of thing, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video over here on YouTube. And if you're watching over on Facebook, I love you over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share on both platforms and then let's have a conversation down below. Do you like sugar and spice? Have you tried any of these half converted cap wigs from the Outre collection? I am loving these wigs so far. And here at Silky Sacks, I love to send a shout out to my Silky Chicks. That is what I call my subs. I thank you guys so much. And today's Silky Chick shout out is going to Love Platinum Beauty Estella. Love Platinum Beauty Estella is a fellow wig reviewer. She also does lifestyle and advice style videos. So the link to her channel will be down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate you so much, sis. So check her channel out. And without further ado, let's get into why you hit the thumbnail. Let's talk about sugar and spice. So sugar and spice is another wig from Outre's Converti cap collection. What I like about these units are they are half wigs that you can style in limitless styles, many, many different styles. They are heat friendly and they are synthetic and they come in a lot of natural styles. So if you like like wild colors, this is not for you. These ones, because you can style them, they're half wigs and you can style them in so many styles, they come in more of the natural colors. So here is Sugar and Spice. I'm reviewing her in the 1B. Let me open up the card so you can see all the different ways that you can style her and the different things that you can do with her. I have reviewed a ton of wigs in this collection, so check down in the description box to see the other units that I have tried in this collection. They are super easy, super fun. Um, this one was no different uh, than the rest. Love the curl pattern on this one. And Altre is just coming through with some great units right now, some great styles. So if you um, like the wig, then please watch the whole video so that you can hear the pros, cons, see the unboxing and the styling. And also we have put together a free PDF to help you make your wigs look more natural. So if you would like to make your wigs look more natural, make them look more seamless, then check the description box. We do have a link to our free PDF that, are gi that is giving you, excuse me, tips on how to do exactly that. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. All right, so here she is, Sugar and Spice. All right, so here Sugar and Spice is. She is a looser spiral curl. She does have a little bit of a shine to her, and the texture is definitely more of a silky than a yakky. And um, the cap, you know, these things always look thicker to me than what they really are. Um, in person once you get them. So let's go ahead and get into that cap. Sorry, just some stuff still in there. All right, so she is a closed cap stretch there, so that's a good thing. Have that long comb in the front, like almost half wigs. Then you get the two combs in the side, the comb in the back, and then the drawstring. All right, so let's put her on. So she is definitely stretchy and I'm getting in there and I like that it has a drawstring because you can make this into a ponytail if you wanted to just rock um, a ponytail. Very cute. Not getting a lot of shedding and tangling which is good for a curly synthetic unit. So let's go ahead and get into that 360. So here she is in the front. 
Here she is to the right. Here she is to the left. The back. So I'm going to go ahead and style her up. Come back with my pros and cons. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm back from styling Sugar and Spice, and Sugar and Spice is an easy throw on and go, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and went in with my Brunette Dry Shampoo. Um, this, like I said earlier, did have a little bit of that synthetic shine to it, which makes it look wiggy, so I sprayed some of that on. What I like about Brunette Shampoo is it doesn't leave that white film on the wig, especially if it's a brunette color or a darker color. So I went ahead and sprayed that on and just made sure I scrunched it like this and just rubbed it in to make sure that it was all in there. And then I went in with my black headband. Now I got these headbands from the Dollar Tree. They came in a pack of three. So I used the black one because it matched my shirt. Um, and I just went ahead and did the flip over method with it where I just took a little bit of hair and pulled it over to the side. Now you can take and pull the headband up more so that you can hide your edges if you don't have a lot of edges or you could take your hair out in the front and blend it and do some things but because of this curl pattern my curl pattern doesn't really look like this so it would be more work to blend it in and what I love about these wigs is they're super easy they're half wigs right and headbands are so popular right now so I just made my life easy and threw on a headband and you can style it in many different ways with the headband or you could you know do some stuff if you like braiding if you do a lot of braiding and those type of things with it in the front so let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons of sugar and spice pros for the price she is super duper easy she is a throw on and go and I love a throw on and go if you're a lazy wig wearer this is a perfect wig if you want some curls, if you like the curls. I like that the length isn't too long because synthetic curly wigs tend to um, get really tangly quickly. They don't last as long, especially when they're not of a top quality. So this one not being as long will probably last a little bit longer. I didn't get any really tangling or shedding when I was, you know, rubbing my hands through her and, um, you know, doing the comb over, none of that. So... That was a really good thing, and she comes in a lot of colors, and she's affordable. Cons, the only con is because it's a synthetic curly wig, it's not going to last as long, and unless you have this type of curls, she might be a little bit harder than some of the other units to blend with your natural hair, but really, that's it. So I would definitely recommend that if you like this curl pattern to add sugar and spice to your collection. And when I take this wig off, I'm not gonna put it back into the plastic bag that it came out of. I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk lined bag that I invented to not only store your wigs, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, tangling, and matting that it would do if you were to place it back into that plastic bag or box or your drawer or wig head or wherever you be putting your wigs and they just getting worn out and they're not lasting as long. So please check the description box for the link to Silky Sacks. It's where we sell our products and you can see the other things that we have to offer. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you will join me again on Friday and remember, better care is better way. <laughs>